All right, welcome back to Chippo Fishing. Today's a good day. We have an upgrade. Ooh, rather nice. This is extremely nice. We had the Minnacota Ultrax, and that has spot lock, an iPilot, a remote, and electronic assist cable remote. And it will be replacing the old. This is my dad. Say hi, dad. Give him a wave. Hi. All right. And it's going to be replacing a Minnacota all terrain now that's been a little workhorse it came with the boat and it's good motor been using it um the issues i've had with that were when you go straight with a little bit of speed it'll veer the torque will either carry you to the right or to the left so it's sort of difficult when you're trying to uh Go, be on top of brush piles, stay on top of brush piles, boat control is key. Uh, spider rigging or single pole jigging over brush piles. So this is going to be a game changer. Okay, first step of install on the Minnacota Ultrex with the iPilot is going to be removing the Minnacota all-terrain which that's a 42 inch shaft uh, maybe 45 pound thrust where the Ultrex is an 80 pound but it doesn't go all at one time it ramps up slow so if you're standing there and throw it on full throttle it's not going to go full juice and full speed ahead right away it's going to go slowly increase and ramp up which is a lot safer as well as uh, the opposite of slowing down. So first thing to do, I have I have rigged this when I drilled a hole in my skeg for my Raymarine Dragonfly transducer. So I'm going to remove this, remove my cord, then remove my bolt pattern, my bolts here. Then we're going to check to see if the uh, quick release mount or a regular mount matches up, which is supposed to. It does for the four tracks, but the all-terrain, we're not gonna know. Uh, then the next step, this wire here, all trolling motors do not come with a plug. So I've not had any issues with my um, female or male side of the plug. So I'm gonna have to undo this. Uh, Disconnect it, cut it off, strip it again, and then I will uh, solder the new connections on the wires that come with the other motor. Then, I'm going to have to come back here. I'm going to have to wire the, my battery into series. Now, how I'll do that is I'll have the trolling motor wire come to the positive side. And the other trolling motor wire coming to the second battery on the negative side. Then I will have a jumper to go from negative to positive. That turns it into 24 volts. So that's how we do it. Okay, battery one, positive. Battery two, negative. And then battery one, negative to battery two positive if you have any questions leave me some comments I'll, uh, or check on youtube on how to get it how to get it right so you don't want any trouble uh also i will be two things i will be moving all my uh all my accessories fish finders bilge pump lights and aerator over to this this battery uh, which is my cranking battery uh, the second thing is when you go to charge either one of these batteries when you come in you're gonna have to disconnect your jumper because that's gonna keep it 24 you disconnect that and now you've got 212 all right more information and hopefully it goes smooth and easy Okay, first step, I have re removed the 
transduce ray marine transducer cord from the trolling motor and second step is I'm going to be physically removing the old tro trolling motor from the deck okay so we have removed the old trolling motor uh, with the help of handyman dad who used the drill while I did the wrench and socket uh, up underneath the deck here on the aluminum boat so we're gonna discard that and then do the unboxing of the new Ultrex Minicota Five Pilot and Spot Lock. The old model followed by the new model. Well, Chippa, where did you get this at? Well, I got my Minicota Ultrex at trollymotors.net. Free shipping and no tax. What? Free shipping, no tax? Saving $144 just like that? Wow. So, call George at trollymotors.net. 1-800-472-3509. George is so knowledgeable, easy to talk to. You want to talk technicalities? Man, George knows his stuff. Trolling motors, old, new, batteries, charging, he knows it all. So get up with George. All tricks, looking sharp, looking sharp. Came well packaged. And hey man, you talk about fast shipping, FedEx, free, boom. Wasn't but a couple of days and it was right here. Awesome. Thank you, George. Okay, this is how I figured it out. I watched a lot of videos. Nobody out there told you how to do it. How to put the motor assembly to the deployment rack. If you see, I used a little piece of styrofoam. That's right, used it right here, help hold it on and slide it in. You gotta look at, you gotta bend, bend this piece here and get it just right so that the two bolts actually turn and you'll see where it slides up. So I'm putting it in. I just wanted to show you that everybody uses a stunt double. Y'all, y'all are just too much. Use a stunt double. You start sliding it up, you know, getting ready to put over, and then you cut and come back, and it's already fixed. Y'all got people helping you. I'm doing this by myself, so I use this little block of foam to get it just right, and it's on the ground in the base and over here. So just trying to help you all out. Yeah, y'all using stunt doubles. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Chippo. Altrex update. I'm going to be stoked. I'm going to be stoked. All right, definitely trying to step up my game. Hopefully this will help. What I've done last night is um, I made my jumper wire, which goes from on my... 12 volt, two 12 volt batteries turn into 24 volt. It goes from positive to negative from one battery to the other. Whereas the opposite posts are hooked to my trolling motor. So speaking of trolling motor, uh, trolling motors really don't come with plugs. So here we go. Um, like my shrink wrap, as you can see, if you solder and shrink wrap, um, not much can go wrong. So this is shrink wrapped, individually taped, and then taped together to hold them all together. Um, also, I called and 
I'm going to be using Ray Marine quality electronics, but I will not be using the Hummingbird. So I asked if it void the warranty if I took this off. And I they said, no, just don't cut it. But there's a little little adapter there. Three point, once you take off the cover, four screws. There's one, two, and then a third <clears throat> screw that holds it in. Then you can lift that out and and slide your, uh, basically it looks like a coax cable there. Now, what's left to do? I've got to physically hook up the uh, tw two 12 volt batteries to turn it into 24. That's just a matter of minutes. I've got all my um, accessories, fish finders, bilge pump, live well, is going off of my cranking battery. In case of emergency, I'll use one of the other batteries. Now then, uh, what's left to do? I've got to drill my holes. Well, Chippa, how come you haven't drilled your holes? Well, I've dug and dug and dug through and could not find the strap. So, they're going to make it right. They're sending it um, overnight, you know. And so, i uh, hopefully have it um, in a day, day and a half. We'll wait and see. But, um, you know, you had one job. Stick the strap in the bag. And you did. <laughs> but that's all right. They're making it good. I, I think I think Minicode is going to be a pretty, pretty good thing. Um, supposedly when you get one and you have trouble issues, you're uh, sort of at, at the, um, you know, you're, you're left up to the care of your individual uh certified uh, service center so hopefully you got a good one get to know them if you if they do a good job you know buy them a cup of coffee okay also if the Ultrax wasn't a game changer boom g-force eliminator uh it's supposed to it's called a harmonic dampener Basically, it reduces the noise, the vibration, and possibly it can draw some of the heat away from the armature in the motor and draw it out a little bit so that it's less, uh, less heat. But yeah, That might be grabbing its straws anyway. But um, getting ready to, to um, finish this stage tomorrow and um, I also have to install the gas stock uh, gas shock absorber so to uh, ease uh, uh, deploying and taking the motor back all right thanks folks I appreciate you uh, hanging out with me on my little journey to uh, Ultrax land and I think it's gonna be all right Good morning, folks. Ah, top of the morning to you. I'm going to be uh, doing my intro sort of in the middle of my project. This is the supposedly game changer. Yeah, I've heard a lot about it. Um, this video is not a step-to-step -step how to. It's just sort of a... Uh, struggles in life as we progress and go along um, together it's it's not that bad it's a little the thought of it is a little overwhelming at first of oh I gotta do this 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 sort of plan it out if you did it uh, once a week once a month you know blindfolded start to finish but I'm just sort of trying to figure it out so um, I appreciate you joining me on my journey, and um, we're going to have it all together soon. Thanks. Here's a little chippo tip. When installing your uh, gas cylinder, you can stick a screwdriver 
through this side on your spacer to help hold it in place and that'll keep that there while you uh, saw it on YouTube so I'm passing it along thank you but anyway the spacer here you can put one in but then you've got to put the second one in you stick a screwdriver there until you can push your center pin all the way through thank you all right folks thanks again for joining me on chippo fishing um yes minnacota minnacota all tracks um game changer i think so we're, we're gonna wait and see on it but you know i've not heard anybody really said hey i wish i hadn't have done it yeah i only hear of man you won't want to be without it so um what will it do for me as a crappy fisherman well it's got spot lock it'll enable me to stay on brush piles you get hung up and i can press that button of uh spot lock and it'll find and stay in that spot yeah it's got jog up back sideways and it'll hold me right there and press the jog five foot over press the button twice ten foot over press the button up ten foot over one up yeah it's it's gonna be gonna be a game changer see it's finding its position and it's gonna keep the boat steady right there in that spot it doesn't matter about the current doesn't matter about the wind it's gonna keep it in that general area all right so um that's i, I think it's gonna be awesome yeah it's an investment but you know your time your energy that's an investment too so let's make the most out of it um this was not a step-by-step -step tutorial um i wish it was but this is my first install you know i'm just trying to figure it out just like you so hopefully some of this has helped me if you have questions uh let me know uh if i can't answer it yeah i'll hook you up with george george has got all the answers he's he's sharp on this stuff um he's a gentleman who i purchased this at uh trolling trolling motors with an s dot net uh, free shipping no tax tax 144 bucks Woo! you save that right away but the rest of it you're gonna have to come up with so but um Okay, got a handy little, um, well, ain't little, but it's a lot going on right there in the remote. But, um, game changer, I think it's going to be. But, um, look forward to, uh, y'all seeing some more with uh, this in action. This pretty much wraps up. I still have some other things to do. I got to put it on the water and calibrate it. I also have to um, index the steering, which basically means that you want the pedal flat when it's pointed forward. And the pedal really takes little time. So it's off a little bit. Basically, I'm just going to have to access this, uh, spin it around a little bit inside gears and uh i don't think it's that difficulty uh unfortunately i have to read the directions you know that hurts <laughs> all right my friends um peace 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 in all tracks